So now we've got everything copied across from Windows. We're going to put everything in our Grape Escape folder in our work in progress. Well, I'm going to anyway. So what we need now is a wrapper. So we download the CX Games wrapper, which I'll put a link to at the end of this video. All this stuff on here and more can be found on my website, which I'll also put a link to at the end. So, and we also need the reg edit zip. I've got these in separate hard drives, so whenever they need to come onto the hard drive I'm working on, they copy it rather than just stealing the original one. So that anything goes wrong, I can revert right back to the original. So, back to where we were. That should have copied across by now, even though it hasn't done. I'm going to open up our games wrapper. The best thing I can say is when you're doing this, so yeah, the best thing I can say is do it a step at a time. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to copy the game into the wrapper and get it to launch. We're not going to make it look nice, we're not going to make it do anything fancy, we're just going to make sure it opens. So, there's our game. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we open it with show package contents, follow the red brick road until we get to program files. So I'm going to copy the Great Escape Cross. Helps if that's on the same hard drive, so it's just bang, 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 and it's done. So, now we've got this, we're going to go back into this. Contents, then info.plst. So, now, I've opened this with Property List Editor, which is on the developer DVD on your Mac install thing. So, that's the best thing to do it with, excuse me, Twitter. Otherwise, it looks a mess, as I shall show you if you open it in text edit. You can do it in text edit if you're hardcore, but a lot of people just go, ah, don't bother. So, here we go. Only thing we want to edit now is this line here, between here and here. So, program files, move back to where we had program files open. Program files, copy that into there. That tells the computer where all the files for the game are stored. I'm going to do that there. And it, this tells the computer which file to boot from, as if it was real thing. So there's our no CD. Crack that we need. Put that in there. Hit paste and save. Close that. Now, this point here, you open it up. Open up terminal. Then drag our friend from MacOS into that and hit enter. I'm not going to because I'm doing this tutorial, I know it works. If it doesn't work, usually it means that the game isn't crossoverable. If it if it doesn't, if it does work, then that's good. If it worked, close it, quit it, and then make a copy of that, compress, compress it as that, and then go on to the next stages of the tutorial.